guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well how are you guys out there what are the chats so i guess you can see by the title of this video what today's video is about it's about what i regret using or doing to my natural hair or my hair in general so i'm just going to tell you a few things that i just remembered sticking with the theme of self-love from my previous video hence why i look the same so this week we're talking about the other side the flip side of that when i was still discovering how to deal with my hair so I have a short list here, I only have four things. The first thing on my list here says not being experimental. So initially for some years, I was like super scared, I didn't use heat, even like blow drying my hair. I remember I used to take like four hours blow drying my hair. Even braids, like talking about protective styling. Like I normally stick to one color because I had a horror story in grade nine. I thought I was gonna be cute, you know, mixing brown and red hair piece for braids i removed it the day i got it but yeah not being experimental i wish i'd done more i wish i'd like maybe had gotten an undercut i wish i had just gotten out of my shell with most of my hair like i wish i would have straightened it when it was short you know, a lot of people will always just kind of like oh if i had your hair i would do this like to this day i've never done bantu knots like updos and things like that i want to be more experimental so on this on this list i think that's like one of the only things that I think I'd like change for 2019 is to just be a bit more experimental with my hair. Second thing I regret is using coconut oil. I realized early on, um, it used to be so funny to me. People would be like, would come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, what do you use on your hair besides coconut oil? That's not even my, on my list. So the reason why I don't use coconut oil is because it just sat on my hair and I felt like it gave my it made my scalp a bit dry or like itchy i just didn't enjoy it and then it says here heat damage so interesting story actually i haven't told people this ever before but like a few years ago maybe five years ago or something i can't remember i was blow drying my hair getting it ready for braids and so the back section of my hair is like generally a bit of a looser texture well i put coconut oil because i wanted to seal my hair in like seal the moisture in I think I fried my hair because I just remember that section getting super hot super hot like I don't even know and I could just see the oil on my hair right so fine cool assist gets braids I undo them now I'm busy putting in conditioner you know like the routine that I posted um, like a few weeks back I think so I was doing that to my hair you know and I saw that my curls were not coming back like well they were a lot looser and i remember that that section just being a lot looser a bit more frizzy as well like there was no color definition so i think for me coconut oil low-key like was the reason i got heat damage okay fine granted that the blow dryer was probably on for long but here's why i think coconut oil is the culprit but i saw a youtuber the one time she said something like don't use coconut oil when you're gonna blow dry your hair because it's got a high melting point if you're putting on a hot blow dryer on hair that has coconut oil it's gonna fry your hair so that's why i do not use coconut oil like i had to nurse my hair back to health i also had to trim some of it so it was a bit of a setback but we bounced back and third thing using a straightener so this is not only just for natural hair this is for hair in general so when my hair was relaxed i was serving looks i'll show you pictures of myself with like my little swoop long you know when it was relaxed you know but like every day for school i'd like take out okay every black girl has a fringe you can come for me in the comments that was my life you know i had the fringe and every day like i'd make sure to comb it out and like straighten it so that it can move nicely thing and people used to be like wow she made your hair look so healthy like it's moving and i also have like the little side parts listen i was i was a lot Obviously using a straightener almost every single day. What do you think is actually going to happen? When I became natural or when I was transitioning, I noticed that I saw a bold spot. I once had a bold spot, like right somewhere here, like guys, 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 guys. From like excessive heat and that sort of thing. I think that's why I'm also so triggered with regards to heat in general. I don't want to get like addicted to having my hair straight. So yeah. The fourth and final thing being a product junkie i regret that because there's some products that i'll never use on my hair ever again they were not cheap like i was spending a lot of money 
um, buying a lot of products. There were some products that I've used before that were so dry and damaging to my hair that it actually set me back. I had to like do a lot of trimming because obviously my, my ends were splitting because it was so dry. That's one thing I do regret being a bit of a product junkie and being a bit reckless with it. In the States, you can return products. And if that was the thing here, I'd like, oh, I'd do that in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't know, like, what do you guys think? Like, what's on your list? What, maybe I've forgotten some things. Maybe what's on my list is not yours. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, again, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the good things, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to satisfy your guys' questions, your guys' things. I'm trying to think of other videos. If you guys have any other video suggestions, please like let me know. Yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!